Welcome back. Today I'll be taking a look at the mini version of one of my favorite OpenSea leather wallets. It's the Hobei Mini. Let's check it out. All right, so let me give you guys a close up of the brand new OpenSea leather Hobei Mini. And while you guys are checking this out, Let's talk about some of the features. The OpenSea Leather Hobei Mini is a vertical style minimalist wallet with two pockets. One internal pocket and one quick access card pocket on the outside. Those two pockets can hold between four to five credit cards and some cash folded into quarters. And then everything's held together pretty nicely with the flap that's tucked into a tuck closure. It's made from vegetable tan full grain leather and you have your choice of 18 different colors for the leather and 17 different choices for the thread. The colors that I have here are mahogany and taupe with black thread. And the Hobei Mini is handmade right here in the USA in Honolulu, Hawaii. All right, let's talk dimensions. It comes in at 2.75 inches by 3.75 inches. And according to my weight test, it comes in at 0.9 ounces. That's 25.51 grams. So most of you out there know that I am a big fan of Open Sea Leather's Hobei, the full size version. This is the version one and this is the version 2.0. I've reviewed both of these wallets individually. If you guys missed that, I'll put those links down below in my description box. But basically I named the version one right here my second favorite wallet of 2020 and the version two right here my fourth favorite wallet of 2021. So how is the mini gonna stand up against its bigger brothers right here? So let's talk about that. So quality wise, it's right up there with the version one and version two. Open Sea Leather's quality is second to none. So in the quality category, there's no issues at all. Top notch leather, the work here is fantastic. Very nice work right here on the cuts. You can see the cross stitching right here on the side. And yes, the Hobei Mini takes after the version 2.0, not the version one, because on the version one, there was still stitching on the bottom. And you can see the Mini and the Hobei 2 just has the fold on the bottom. So the Mini is more like the version 2.0 right here rather than the version one. Now in the styling department, I absolutely love the Hobei because of its vertical nature. Uh, I prefer vertical wallets over horizontal style wallets any day. But with the Mini here, there's a few big differences that set it apart from its bigger brothers. One of those differences is on the inside. You can see there's just one internal pocket on the inside and one quick access card pocket on the back versus the full size Hubei right here that has three internal card pockets, one quick access card pocket on the back. And yes, they still both have the tuck closure right there. So that's actually very surprising because all the other mini wallets that I have from OpenSea Leather are just shrunken down versions of their full size, meaning they all have the same amount of pockets on the inside, but not the Hobei here. So I would keep that in mind if you're looking at the Hobei Mini because it doesn't have the same amount of pockets as its full size brother right here. Another big aesthetic change is right here on the outside. So on the Mini, you can see this flap right here. It's a straight line that goes down, then there's a notch cut out, and then it continues to go straight down, where on the version one and version two of the full size version, there is no notch, it's just cut at an angle, which I think is a good change. I really like that design choice right here because when it's tucked in, it looks a lot cleaner as you can see. But with the addition of this notch, that just means you can only put so many cards on the inside regardless of how this inside pocket stretches out. And I'll show you that a little bit later on in my card test. But from an aesthetic standpoint, I think the notch is a great choice here on the mini. And the quick access card pocket on the back looks basically the same, except for it looks like it comes straight across right there, just a little bit farther on the mini than it does right here in the full size version. And then I'll give you a look at the cross stitching on both the mini right here and the full size version. Always great work by Mike over at OpenSea Leather with the stitching, very nice work. So now let's test out that five card capacity here. So I have four flat cards and I'm just gonna stick them right into that single internal pocket right there. And with those four flat cards, you can see it closes up perfectly and you can see that notch lines up very nicely with the tuck closure right there. And now let's get that fifth card in the quick access card pocket on the back. And then of course, with this pretty aggressive angled cutout right there, just makes it super functional, very easy to get your cards in and out of that quick access card pocket. But let's talk about this notch right here with how many cards you can stick on the inside. Now, I tried this earlier 
And if you want to try to get five, six, seven cards in this internal pocket, you can. But the problem is right now I have, uh, what is it? Sorry, I lost count there. There's six cards in there. And once I tuck that flap into the tuck closure, you can see what that does to that little notch right there. So this is why they say only five cards total because four, when you close that flap up, it sits absolutely perfectly right there. If having this flap raised up a little bit like this doesn't bug you, I think you can easily carry over the recommended four to five cards in this wallet. For me, I don't like this just because if it's in my pocket, I feel like this is just gonna start getting bent up and it's gonna look weird. But if that doesn't bother you, this definitely holds more than five cards. But if I take those extra two cards out of that internal pocket, there's four in there right now, I have five American dollar bills. Let's fold this into quarters and stick those behind those cards and close it back up. You can see that notch right there is still sitting pretty nice. So it, it seems as the bills being folded and stuck behind your cards right there have no effect, at least with only five bills. I'm sure if I started stuffing more cash in there, it'll start affecting this flap. But as of right now, you can see five cards, five bills, handles it perfectly. All right, so what are my final thoughts on the Open Sea Leather Hobey Mini? Do I prefer the mini version over its full-size brothers? I would have to say no in this case. That's only because I think the Open Sea Leather Hobey version one and two is almost a perfect leather minimalist wallet. I absolutely love these two wallets and I find myself always going back to either one of these wallets all the time. But if you're in the market for a handmade minimalist leather wallet and only carry five cards or less, do not sleep on this wallet. OpenSea Leather makes some of the highest quality leather wallets available right now. And this is still a mini version of one of my very favorite wallets of all time. Just because it's not for me doesn't mean that this wallet couldn't be the best wallet you've ever owned because it does have that potential. I just wish there was a way that they can make this wallet with the three pockets on the inside in this small form factor then for me, it would be absolutely perfect. And now let's talk about the price. The Hobey Mini right here is 65 bucks and the full size version is 79. So for only $14 more, you can get the full size version over the Hobey Mini. Is that worth it? That's up to you. But for me, I'm spending the extra $14 and grabbing the full size version all day long. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you think of the Open Sea Leather Hobey Mini? Now, if you wanna pick this up for yourself, I will have links down below in my description box. But if you did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. And go!